We're very excited about the forthcoming Ulster Beef and Lamb Championship, which takes place on Tuesday the 24th November. This is the third year the event has been running, and once again, it's running with the full support of the Bank of Ireland. The Royal Ulster Beef and Lamb Championship is a flagship for all that is good for Northern Ireland beef and lamb producers. It allows a showcase and a platform to, to just show how good the livestock that we produce really are. So as a bank, we are proud to be uh, supporting the Beef and Lamb Championships again now for the third consecutive year. This year, more than ever, we've seen how resilient the sector has been in the face of this pandemic. And we're proud to be able to uh, run with this event, albeit different this year. So from, from we were nippers, uh, I suppose we kind of looked out to my dad. He always showed animals at the local fat stock sales and it's where my sister and myself got the drug and a, I suppose ever from that we've competed locally and I suppose as we've got older and got a you know a bit more experience we've we've wanted to go to the likes of the old Alums or now the RUAS and compete and kind of pit ourselves against you know the best producers in the country and so I entered last year in the young farmers class it was my first year um, I placed first in the class and then went on to the championships and uh, then won best butchers pair and went on to getting top price on the night of £600 per lamb. I suppose preparing animals for a show like the, the Royal Ulster Beef and Lamb uh, probably starts when you first when you first attempt at, at breeding that animal. You know, There's a lot of thought goes into the breeding, the genetics used, uh, the time of year you, you want your animals being born so that they're in peak uh, condition, weight fat class, whatever, for, for, for showtime. Yes, this year we've upped our team. We'll have two pairs going. We'll have a Ruse Taxel Cross going and we'll have a Taxel Beltax Cross also going for different variety and different styles of sheep for the two different classes. It's going to be slightly different because everything is this year, but it's great that we have an event to look forward to. It will be run behind closed doors with limited access to exhibitors and registered buyers and there will be new and revised protocols in place to make sure that we are taking safety measures very seriously and at all times looking after the health of our exhibitors and visitors to the event. The judging will not take place as conventional judging does, but there will be a central tying area where exhibitors uh, will be social distancing, tying the animals up and then walking away and letting the judge judge the animals tied at a standstill as such. Um, and the good thing is that those who are unable to get because of the number restrictions, we are going to live stream this event. So you can watch the judging from home or from your office or from the seat of your tractor. Yeah, I suppose COVID has brought us challenges as to how we do things uh, in life, never mind on a farm. Uh, yeah, no, it is, it's going to be very different. Um, usually you're looking forward to it in the weeks in advance because you're going to see people that you maybe haven't seen since Balmoral or even since all year, or all year um, because some people maybe only go to this one show. Um, so you are going to miss a massive social element of it. Um, I know I have friends that they organise buses and they would all attend. It would create a massive atmosphere um, at the show that is going to be completely different this year. This is going to be definitely a difficult year, I think, for the fat stock sales with not having a show as it normally does be. Um, you're not going to have maybe the same crowds at it because of restrictions in numbers. So I, I hope there's plenty of buyers and I think the online side of it will be very useful for the fat stock sales, especially for maybe butchers and uh, shops and restaurants and stuff that would buy that maybe can't get to the sale. So I hope it does be successful. We're really excited as a bank to be able to support this event. Um, and we know that it will be a fantastic event. It's the only one happening really this year and that's why we felt as a bank it's so important uh, to make sure that it happens and support this vital industry uh, in Northern Ireland.